An ancient hunter stalks his prey in the middle of the forest. He spots a large buck that could feed his family for weeks. Spear in hand, he holds it, poised to throw it at his prey. In one swift motion, he hurls the spear. It hits the deer in the side of the head. As the deer falls to the ground, the hunter feeds his family. It's a full count with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. The pitcher is up by one. All he needs to do is strike this last guy out to win the baseball game. He winds up and delivers a fastball right on the corner. The batter swings and misses, and the pitcher wings the game. This situation seems entirely different from our last one. But they have one thing in common. What is it? The use of an overhand throw. Humans have been using overhand throws for 1.8 million years to help their daily lives. This is one of the evolutionary things that has helped humans succeed, as throwing helps them hunt their prey without getting close and having danger with them. Also, we know that throwing is unique to humans. Chimps, one of our closest ancestors, are much more strong and athletic than humans, but are terrible at throwing. Evolution helped humans get a lower elbow, and this helps us utilize tendons and ligaments which act like rubber bands in our arms. This helps us throw faster. Now this throwing faster is a natural thing that is healthy for humans to do. What is not unhealthy is when pitchers throw hundreds of times in one day. This can put stress on our arms that they are not designed to handle. Look at this picture up in the left hand corner. This elbow is bent at an extremely awkward angle. This may look like a unique, weird pitch motion, but almost every pitcher goes at this exact angle every single time they throw a baseball. This puts an enormous amount of stress on our shoulder and our UCL ligament in our elbow and can lead to arm injuries after hundreds of times of doing this. One common arm injury is the torn ulnar collateral ligament, which is this ligament that connects the upper, the outside of your upper arm to the outside of your forearm. And when this ligament tears, like it has right here, it means that you basically cannot throw a baseball. This injury is quite common, as you can see from this pitcher who is wearing a brace from a surgery used to repair a torn ulnar collateral ligament. Now, luckily, there are ways to prevent these arm injuries. By watching my next videos, you can learn about general background information behind arm injuries, how to know how much to throw in order to prevent arm injuries, and some strengthening and stretching exercises that you can do to prevent arm injuries.